Hi again. We're going to be reading it. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. <laughs> um, I hope you are well. It's good to be back. I'm here. I like doing this. I like reading. But I'm blessed more than anything to be able to do so. So please join me in prayer. Dear God, thank you for being an awesome God. I pray to give you thanks today for your many blessings and your word. Your message, I pray that the listener also enjoys it just as much that they gain some more wisdom. May we gain wisdom together. Lord, may you open our minds and our hearts so that we can receive your message and understand it and go closer to you and one day share it. I pray for all those out there that are in other countries that aren't allowed to read your word, that aren't allowed to worship freely. So may we take for granted and I pray that you forgive me for that. Thank you in your most holy name we pray. Amen. Chapter 8. Who is like the wise? Who knows the explanation of things? A person's wisdom brightens their face and changes its hard appearance. Obey the king, verse 2. Obey the king's command, I say, because you took an oath before God. Do not be in a hurry to leave the king's presence. Do not stand up for a bad cause, for he will do whatever he pleases. Since a king's word is supreme, who can say to him, what are you doing? Whoever obey the command will come to no harm, and the wise heart will know the proper time and procedure. <clears throat> for there is a proper time and procedure for every matter, though a person may be weighed down by misery. Since no one knows the future, who can tell someone else what is to come? As no one has power over the wind to contain it. So no one has power over the time of their death. And no one is discharged in time of war, so wickedness will not release those who practice it. All this I saw as I applied my mind to everything done under the sun. There is a time when a man lords it over others to see its own hurt. Then too I saw the wicked buried, those who used to come and go from the holy place and receive praise. Receive praise in the city where they did this. This too is meaningless. When the sentence for a crime is not quickly carried out, people's hearts are filled with schemes to do wrong. Although a wicked person who commits a hundred crimes may live a long time, I know that it will go, it will go better with those who fear God, who are reverent before him. Yet because the wicked do not fear God, it will not go well with them, and their days will not lengthen like a shadow. There is something else meaningless that occurs on earth. The righteous who get that who get what the wicked deserve, and the wicked get what the righteous deserve. This too, I say, is meaningless. So I command the enjoyment of life, because there is nothing better for a person under the sun than to eat and drink and be glad. Then joy will accompany them in their toil and the days of the life God has given them under the sun. When I applied my mind to no wisdom and to observe the labor that is done on earth, people getting no sleep day or night, then I saw all that God had done. No one can comprehend what goes on under the sun. Despite all their effort, efforts to search it out, no one can discover its meaning. Even the wise claim they know they cannot really comprehend. Well, that was chapter 8, Ecclesiastes. I pray that you are well and that God carries you through your day. Take care. Bye.